Welcome to a Jenkins Minute. I'm Liam Newman, and in this Jenkins Minute, I'll show you how to customize your pipeline's execution environment using a Docker file. Here we have a sample project with a pipeline that runs directly on a Jenkins agent. As you can see in the Jenkins file for this project, I'm using agent any and expecting my Jenkins agent to have the configuration that I need. I'd like to switch this pipeline to use a Docker file from my repository instead. This will give me a dependable execution environment that I can customize and change as needed simply by editing that Docker file. I want to make this change safely, so I'm going to create a separate branch and submit my change in a GitHub pull request. Okay, now that I've set up my branch, I'm ready to make my changes. I'll create a Docker file and add my project-specific configuration to it. For this example, I only set an environment variable that I'll use later on in my pipeline, but this could be any customization, really. Next, I'll update my Jenkins file. I'll replace agent any with agent dockerfile true to tell Jenkins to pick up the default dockerfile from my repository. And I'll have it print out a message using the environment variable that I added. I'll commit these changes and push them to a branch on my fork of the repository. Then I go to GitHub and open a pull request. With Jenkins pipeline, using a Docker file, I can now submit my pipeline and environment changes together, keeping them in sync. Further, Jenkins can test the changes in my pull request without any danger of breaking my master branch or anyone else. Once Jenkins shows the pipeline run for my pull request succeeded, I can check the output from my pipeline run and see the environment variable that I added in my customized Docker container. This has been a Jenkins Minute, showing you how to customize your pipeline's execution environment using a Docker file.